Hi there, my name's James, and if you got the time, I got the games. I'm really happy that we finally got into this mission. I really like this one. Uh, for one, it's called Zero Cool, and that's a direct reference to the 1995 film Hackers, where the main protagonist, who was obviously a hacker, his handle was Zero Cool, and we're about to save Matt Miller from the simulation, and he considers himself a hacking cyber god. So that's actually perfect, but that's not the only reference to old films that are in this. But I do want to throw this out there. If you've never seen the movie Hackers, seriously, see Hackers. <laughs> really great movie. All right, we got Sid. So how do we use him to get Matt? Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but... It's Matt Miller. Kenzie, if he can help us find the others, then yes, I'm certain. Now, how does this work? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens a gateway. All right, let's go get the kid, then. So much for a hard fight. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. You're exactly like Julius. Thanks to the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Notice the SMGs we were carrying on the way in here are from the original Robocop movie. Matt Miller, self-proclaimed hacker guy. Ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. So we can trust him like she does. Alright, and anybody that's played the third game should recognize this right here. Hey, Kenzie, how am I supposed to rescue Matt without a weapon? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the fuck are there giant words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. Ah, hell, not again. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. Have to deal with it. Well, this ain't my first time at the top down tank rodeo. True. Kenzie, you gonna fix this or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Yeah, these command prompts at the top of the screen, these are actually what this game's developers use to debug the game. And they look for glitches and all kinds of things when they do a total debug. And it's they just threw it right in the game. <laughs> oh, Kenzie. I think that's pretty cool. Could it be as simple as 3D? No, 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 don't put in a space. Oops, sorry, finger slipped. Yeah, and that's another thing. The uh, president here has made it pretty clear that he knows little to nothing about computers. How would he know to not put in a space there? You think Kinsey would have picked up on that? Finally. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. Can I just blow this thing up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Actually, twice. No, three times. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. Well, what do you care if I try? <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. And yeah, this tank here, Ooh, so it, close. it's kind of hard to control, especially at first, but it's really no harder to control than any of the other tanks that are in the game. You get used to the controls pretty quick. Lots of firepower here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh, touche. Yeah, and I actually kind of disagree with that. That's two. One more to go. Oh, wanted to thank you, by the way, Kinsey. For what? Well, I'm in cyberspace, and I haven't been turned into a sex doll or toilet yet. Matt, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. Something that kind of sticks with you in your nightmares. <laughs> and Kinsey just insulted Zinyak for saying the prison that he put Matt Miller in is this old 80s technology where it's very linear and not very difficult to figure out. I think that's actually perfect for Matt Miller's prison because he is a cyber, a modern day cyber hacker and this is technology that was used 
20, 30 years before what he's accustomed to. So I think it's actually a perfect way to imprison him. All right, last tower's going down. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy for you. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have some more button prompts right here. If and if you don't read the button prompts, I know we're being shot at by tanks, but you'll miss a couple Easter eggs that are thrown in. Would you like to play a game? Play Global Thermonuclear War. The only winning move is not to play. That's a direct reference from an old movie that I love from the early 80s called War Games, where a computer hacker nearly accidentally blows up the entire world through a nuclear holocaust. Got Matthew Broderick, it's pretty awesome. Initiate Order 66, that's obviously from Star Wars, when the clones are ordered to turn on the Jedi. This will work. And then we hop onto this obvious Tron motorcycle. Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying nothing. <laughs> what idiot said that? It's a quote from Macbeth. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, and to be perfectly honest, neither did I, really. But this isn't the first time in the Saints Row franchise that uh, they've shown that they clearly know their Shakespeare. But I wanted to bring up, uh, not the motorcycles in this game, not just this obvious Tron motorcycle, but uh, the Estrada, and all the motorcycles from the third game are actually in this. And in my opinion, this particular game right here has the hardest to handle to con hardest to control motorcycles of any game I've ever seen. The worst controlling motorcycles, and yeah, I'm even gonna go here, even compared to Ride to Hell Retribution. They weren't near this hard to control in the third game. So other than the missions where we're absolutely forced to, like this one, I'm not gonna be using motorcycles for anything in this game. And how am I getting him out without any weapons or a key? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. Normally you yell at me when I wing it. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Just keep those reassurances coming. I really like this next part coming up where we actually free Matt Miller's mind. Easy. What's going on? It's like old computers from the 80s where there's word prompts and if you hit the wrong answer, you have to go back and do it all over again. Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you would willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. Yeah, either choose the red pill or the blue pill. What the hell is all this? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. 
The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet. Because you wouldn't submit to my rule. Not seven billion. In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer without you in it. Well, this isn't really much of a choice here, because if you go through the red door, the game ends and you fail the mission. Child. Wait, is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Don't worry, Matt. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington. Very doubtful. Alright, ahead of you a computer awaits. What do you do? Approach the computer. On the screen, one question is asked. What are you? Fuck off. The computer does not fuck off. What do you type? I'm a slave. Text appears on the screen. I am sorry. Contractions cannot be read by this program. I am a slave. Behold my empire. Not very big. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. The room melts away, giving you a breathtaking view of the cosmos. What do you do? Fly towards the purple star. As you fly towards the star, you notice all of the other stars blinking out of existence. Soon you are all alone in the vastness of space, staring into the corona of the purple star. What do you do? Ah, yes. I'm quite proud of this one. What am I looking at? Terror, as personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. Why does the pirate have a raven? <sighs> The dull sound of a heartbeat fills the room. Thump thump, thump thump, thump thump. What do you do? Drink the wine. As you guzzle down the bottle of ancient murder wine, you become lightheaded and pass out. What do you do? Oh, is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Ooh, guess I'm hitting a nerve. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. Deal with who? The warm water of the ocean laps at your face. You sit up and find yourself on a small deserted island, isolated, adrift, alone. What do you do? Make two martini glasses out of coconuts. You crudely fashion a pair of cocktail glasses and fill them with coconut milk. What do you do? Offer the architect a drink. Um, hi. A beautiful dominatrix emerges from the only shadow on the island. What do you say? Your mom's a slave. The dominatrix bursts into tears. Why are you so mean? I'm sorry. I never get any visitors. You're the first person that shows up and you treat me like dirt. I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're right. She takes a moment to wipe her eyes with her fur-lined leather cuffs. So why are you here? I want to rescue Matt Miller. All right, just pick up the phone and we'll get you out of there, Matt. Sad. I wasn't done with him yet, she sighs. Then you will have to fight Matt Miller's most feared opponent. And who's that? The dominatrix fades away and before you stands, kill Bane. Do saints think they can defeat me again? No, this time Matty has to do his own fighting. Then where's Matt? Suddenly Matt Miller appears in the ring. Let's do this. Kilbane laughs. Do you really think a wimp like Maddie here can defeat me? Matt Miller cowers a bit. Oh, I don't think I can do this. I know you can beat him, Matt. Matt Miller weakly nods. All right, then. What should Matt do? Punch Kilbane. Matt Miller winds up and takes a swing, hitting Kilbane in the jaw. Kilbane yells, Oh, what the hell was that? What should Matt do? Punch Kilbane again. Matt Miller takes advantage of Kilbane's surprise and punches him again. Kilbane yells, This is impossible! What should Matt do? Punch him again. With a mighty swing, Matt Miller's third hit in a row sends Kilbane crashing to the ground unconscious. Matt Miller shouts, I did it! I won! Time to go, Matt. A large ringing device appears before Matt Miller. A coiled wire connects two pieces and a massive dial, not unlike the chamber of a revolver, rests in its center. Pick up the phone. <laughs> I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. 
Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kenzie! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost. Big deal. Or he got a little dead. Who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like he's having a blast. And, um, yeah, what's up with his nipples? <laughs> well, anyway, I want to thank you for indulging my really terrible impressions. <laughs> but, that's only the first half of this mission. We just freed his mind from the simulation. Now we have to actually go free him. And they start you right back on the ship, and we have to actually accept the second half of the mission. Let's get our cash, though. I think we worked pretty hard for that. Alright, retrieve Matt Miller. Talk to Kenzie. Kenzie is actually in a really weird place. She can be any of, like, two or three different places, but she's normally not way back here towards the back of the ship. You're really making a big deal out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kinsey, this is not the time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine, take this. Yeah, this is awesome. You're beautiful. Thanks. Us talking to the robot. It's power armor. Same thing. Not really. A robot is an automaton, whereas power Don't ruin this, Keith. Actually, Kinsey and Keith are right. And I don't know about you, but I love the mech suit. Are you breaking my power armor? No, and it's not your power armor. If you do damage the power armor, you can find repair kits in some of the storage crates. Yeah, in these blue crates right here. And we're going to take damage. There's virtually no way not to in this. Look at the guns on this thing, huh? Oh, um, I didn't have time to get them working, so... Uh, no guns? You're killing me, Kinsey. I found you power armor, but guns are just missing stuff. Kinsey, my mech is too big for the door. Can you do something? Ugh, oh my god, this is a real world. I can't just waggle my fingers and... Oh, look, Kinsey, you weave worlds like a goddess. I'll find another door. <laughs> if you can't hack the doors and I don't exactly have fingers, how do I open them? Brute force works. Yeah, shoulder bash. You need that. And there are the alien guards. You take care of what's there, and I'll make sure they don't alert the others. Yeah, this suit really right now anyway only has two attacks. You got this stump that uh, doesn't always kill the Zen, but this ground pound will kill any and all of them. Funny though, we're using one of Zinyak's ships to fly around in, and this mech suit was just in a closet way in the back of the ship. Six-year-old me is so jealous right now. Yeah, I seriously doubt Kinsey had time to build this thing in the short time we've been on it. Because other than Sid, Matt Miller is the first person we're rescuing here. Humans in all these pods? Maybe, but I don't think they've been abducted humans exclusively. Yeah, and you can see the mech suit does fly, but the bar is going down. It doesn't fly very far. I think I'm getting close. Oh, shit, one of the pods is broken. Any chance that's the one Matt was in? They didn't really label these things, Kinsey, but I hope so. Yeah, I think it's a pretty safe bet that that was Matt's pod. Bash on through. Now there are mech suit mayhems in this game, and I can't wait to get to those. And those are important because that's another challenge we have to complete. Oh, oh, oh Matt, relax. It's me. About time I was rescued. Oh, you wouldn't believe what they have. But I didn't realize they had robots. See, this is a robot. Thank you. Kinsey was all, this is power armor, not... So, not a robot? Yeah, we just need to go right around the corner. 
Kizzy said the guns are missing stuff. <laughs> Typical. Give me a moment to find the parts. Yeah, take your time. <laughs> Get your bare ass up there. Alright, defend Matt, yeah. This isn't uh, really a series of wave kills. It's pretty much just one wave. But they can come at you from three different directions. Like this center, obviously, and they come at you from the right. I'm still standing! And sometimes not, but a lot of times they'll come at you from this left side over here, too. And we're going to need... For 100%, we're going to need to kill 250 aliens with this mech suit. And this mission counts. We also need to travel four miles in order to complete that challenge. You worry about your job and let me do mine! Yeah, come on, bring it. Looks like we had one over to the left, but... Yeah, we're getting down to it. And... Fuck, just one guy. I came all the way over here for one guy. Oh, there we go. I was about to say. Sometimes you'll get five, six, seven attackers that come at you through that way. Yeah. And see, that stomp didn't actually kill him. different than any other weapon you're used to. Don't ever sell it. It's a gun, Matt. I got it. It's more than just a gun. Alright, let's get to Kenzie. Alright, so... The gun. That's on this. Fortunately, we will have when we do all the mech suit mayhems, but this is a pretty powerful gun, and it needs to be. Because of the enemies we're about to face. This is where they start sending those T-800 murder bots at you. And for the most part, the smaller Zen really don't damage this suit very much. But the murder bots do. Oh yeah! This is what I'm talking about! Did that guy skip combat training? Yeah, and this assault just gets more and more intense. As you can see, there are a lot of blue crates around for help when we need them. Damn, robots have the best guns! Kenzie, tell me you're close. I'm close. I'm also lying. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Yeah, we're nowhere near finished with this. It just gets more and more intense. Come on, Matt, make it. Yeah, look at their numbers now. <laughs> this is awesome. I really dig this music, really action science fiction. <laughs> Better you than me. Yeah, no doubt. Wait, wait, wait! Where do you think you're going? Hey, one little guy slipped right past us. Oh man! Okay, no, it hasn't stopped because now they're gonna send UFOs. Stay down, man! And they do heavy damage too. Oh, man. Yeah, they're just crushing us with these missiles. So much for a hard fight. 
Oh, and again with the waves. That oh, we didn't get the headshot. He's gonna come crawling at us. Oh no no no! Not again. Yeah, see, we've got 50 of the 250. This is not a hard challenge to complete. It's just taking the time to do it. Matt, the gun stopped working. I did what I could. I company fix it right now. Fuck. Yeah, and we're taking hardcore damage now. And here, get to me. Shift to the platform, Matt. Get to it. Yeah, we're almost dead. Mackenzie's here. Okay, yeah, get that health back and let's get out of here. <laughs> Man. That's an intense fight. I really like this mission. And we made it to the ship, but we're no we're, we're not done. We still gotta get away. Get to the turret! Matt, take the other turret. This gun is really hard to aim too. Your ass out of prison, Matt. The least you can do is help protect the ship. Please, if your aim was any worse, you'd be shooting yourself. Now, we really don't even have to shoot these ships. They can't hurt us at all, and they will crash into walls. Hey, yeah, just like that. I'm sure Keith David would love a crack at this. That is Mr. Keith David to you. Yeah, we're really not in any danger here at all. But this would be really boring if we weren't shooting the ships. Oh shit, we woke mama. Yeah, and there's no point in shooting this one. You can't hurt this ship at all. It's just like the one that we're in right now. It's like got some kind of red force shield in front of it. Big ship, Kenzie. I'm not sure. Look at us, killing everything inside. Is this what being a sociopath feels like? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Yeah, great kid. Don't get penisy. Hey, remember that big ship you were asking about? Oh, you mean the one directly in front of us? Alright, make it happen. Okay, I think we lost it. I'm in front of a passageway. I'll need a minute to open the door. Yeah, we haven't lost it at all. Okay. And I don't know what that is, but it looks bad. What's it doing, Kinsey? Oh, that is cool. Oh, that's fantastic. I don't want to sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. You think someone could at least give me a high five? You need to take a look at this. A plane? Why would Zinyak want to build one of those? We're in deep space. It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell is being trapped on an aeroplane? <laughs> me, Chandi, and... Oh, my God. Johnny's alive. Boss, Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Shandi? It was a life-defining moment for her. It's the only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong. Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. Yeah. And I think it pretty much stands to reason that the plane would be Shandi's prison. Because she was really traumatized when Johnny died. He sacrificed himself to save the two of them. And if you liked the first two games at all, it would make a lot more sense that Johnny's prison would involve Aisha somehow. And we've got another gateway, thank God. But we also got Matt Miller, and he comes with his own set of side quests. Plus, this opens loyalty missions. And we're going to have to do all those too. Alright, that right there. Man, that is the end of Zero Cool. But I don't want to stop right here yet, because the next actual story quest... It's really short, but we really can't do anything else until we do this. We can't go do any side quests, because every time we go into the simulation, we're going to be attacked full force.
Zinyak is pissed. Boss, I'm picking up major readings coming from your area. I think. Yeah, here we go. One of those giant aliens are coming. I guess Zinyak's pissed about Matt. Yeah. And this one's orange. Pretty cool. Alright, where you at? No, you don't. Gotcha. Watch out for that stomp. He's sending waves of energy out from him. Come on, hold still. There it is. We got this. Come to Papa. <sighs> Alright, it's not done. You really gotta button mash hard here. You really gotta slam these buttons fast because they can break free. Matter of fact, later in the game, this becomes even harder. Oh, it's so tough. Ah. Loading up another training program for you. There it is. There's our third power. Here, use this to test out that stomp thing. So I just slam my foot down? Yep, and the blast wave will hurt them and throw them back. And this stomp power is really important. There's... I mean, it's not impossible, but there's virtually no way that you will run through the rest of this game without using this power a lot. But we've only got the one element for it right now. Is this another of those hidden cluster thingies? Yep, Stomp should make the clusters pop up. Here, try using it to take down a warden's shield. Good, looks like it works. Sending you back now. And unless I'm mistaken, the other two elements for this power, they're, it's going to be a while off before we get them. I believe they're the side quest for Fun Shongi. So when we finally rescue both Shondis from the simulation, I'll probably do Fun Shondi side quests first to get those two elements. Okay, well, we have gotten a lot done in this video, a lot, but as you can see, when we go back in, Anomalous Readings isn't done yet. They want us to do the first Superpower Fight Club. So, let's do it. Alright, this first one, I don't think, is too bad. Uh, the two after this are really hard. Super Power Fight Club. And we have to beat all of these three different waves with four minutes left on the clock in order to get the gold. Wave one. Fight. And we don't have any weapons. All we have are our superpowers that you can see we're being shot at. So the only way to use projectile weapons in this is to use your telekinesis. Alright, come on, yeah. And you can die here, they can kill you. Wave one! Complete! Wave two! Burning Man! Yeah, wave two, all these... Oh, wow, what happened? Oh, whatever, whatever it was, killed him too. But all of these guys are on fire, so you can't use your grapple. You can't use your uh, super-powered beatdown. I bet they could use a drink of water right about now. Your stomp does work, and you can use your telekinesis. But the freeze blast really is the best way, I the fastest way. Welcome to the arena, Nightblade! Yeah, and the final boss at the end of all three of these is always really hard to kill. And you can see Nightblade has got one of the ginky girls with him. These bitches are irritating, especially in the in the later two, in the last two super-powered fight clubs. Oh, and they gang up on you. Yeah, Nightblade's got a sword too, you don't want to get too close for too long. Ah! And that's his blast power. 
It's more like a Hadouken. Yeah, back off. Get her again. Doesn't anyone learn? All right, she's done. We should. Well, Hadouken. We should really only need one more shot to kill him. There it is. Has been defeated. <sighs> and this game's developers, being pro wrestling fans, we gotta drop a big elbow at the end. That does it for this round of Super Power Fight Club. Man, and we've had over five minutes left. That was actually really good on time. You know, I've done that a lot worse. <sighs> Alright, well, this was a big video. We got a lot done here. Up to 24 XP, we're right under halfway complete. And the last two fight clubs, I'm telling you, that first one was nothing. But let's go ahead and upgrade. What'd they give us? Health. Yeah, health upgrade three. Definitely. And I know. Well, we got six. Six more upgrades. Most of which are going to be for Stomp, because we just unlocked that. Explosive deaths. Targets explode when they shatter. And mind, con mind control. They explode when they die glitching nearby enemies. And that's another challenge we got to complete, so we're going to see that anyway. Hold cost. No energy is consumed, and for the other two, half as much energy is consumed. Very cool. Now we should have a lot for Stomp. Alright, Stomp distance is really important. But Stomp recharge is even more important. And awesome, okay. So going into quests, we have a lot of options that we can do right now, but what I we have to get this done and it's gonna be the next video. We have to open up these gateways so when we take over the map it'll be that much easier. If you feel like it, don't be afraid to hit that like button. My name is James. And if you got the time, I got the game. Thank you so much for watching.